Hello and welcome to Mock Productions, you're here me, Matthew, and we are back with some more Skylanders Superchargers update news. <clears throat> now, we have some really, really, really interesting news from Gamescom. A lot of stuff has been announced over the past day, um, that there has been just so much, and it is so exciting to finally be able to say that there are a few things which I think a lot of people are going to be happy about, but let's not spoil anything. Let's make our way through what we have found out so far. So first off, we have this, which is the pack the uh, packaging for Dive Bomber, which is looking pretty cool because obviously we've done the packaging, the actual unboxing for Hot Streak already, the uh, the E3 exclusive version, and I've got him right here. Um, and it is really awesome to sort of look at the boxes and think that is actually how big this vehicle is going to be. It does look really cool, the the, the colours are really awesome and the little picture in the background, it, it really adds uh, a lot of detail to the, uh, the overall packaging. So hopefully very soon we'll be able to actually get the packagings for all the characters and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Especially like in hand pictures and everything like that. Uh, moving on, we have this, which is obviously Bowser, Hammerslam Bowser in his vehicle. Just a sort of almost supercharged look at it again. Um, and there's some little gameplay snippet there, a little screenshot of him flying in his uh, clown cruiser, looking pretty awesome. We've also got Donkey Kong here in his barrel blaster, again, supercharged version of it. And then there he is firing off barrel there, I think that's Diddy Kong firing off the barrel there in his little uh, his, his little cart next to him and some lightning popping out of the side or maybe getting shot at him which is pretty interesting so <clears throat> we've got this one which is Nightfall, obviously we know about Nightfall but this is a more HD-ish look picture at uh, Nightfall and she does look really awesome, the figure itself um, very much like a sort of pirate general sort of theme. The hair itself is actually connected to the base, so she's not standing on the base, more like she's jumping. Um, those hooks look really awesome, and the detailing is just really, really spectacular. Amazing look at this character. Um, and there she is compared to Sea Shadow there. You can see she is pretty tall, maybe about three times the size maybe of Sea Shadow, if not just two because of that little spiky bit at the end. But really, really cool. Moving on, we've got this, which is Shark Tank. Um, and this is looking really, really cool. Now, from what I've seen of this, those treads aren't going to be moving. There's going to be little wheels underneath to allow you to push it back and forth, so you will be able to move it. Uh, the reason for that probably is because of those spikes and that they're not really going to be able to move. Plus, it might be pretty... Uh, lethal in a way for uh, kids to be moving them and poking the spikes especially if they're moving which isn't ideal so having the wheels underneath is probably the safest option with this figure and there we are the stealth stinger there which is obviously stealth elf's vehicle looking pretty awesome reminds me of a head straight away so that's really good that you sort of get that thing of like that's stealth elf's vehicle that's got to be um, and it does look super cool those spikes at the front the helicopter wings Really awesome all round, and I'm guessing the the part of this which is going to work is probably the back propeller and the top one because it looks as if you can spin it, spin them around, which again adds to the overall fun factor of this figure. Uh, there's a, not really that much of a detailed picture at Jetstream, but there is one to come up. But really cool that you can get to see that in hand. Uh, there is an awesome picture of Crypt Crusher there. Um, and the hands there, um, they really do look very realistic, you know, they're really aged, and they really are awesome. So can't wait to see this one in hand. Dive Clops there looking absolutely massive, he's uh, definitely a bulky figure. Um, the, the eyeball section I think is the massive part, and the fact that his fists and his arms are so close together makes him even more bulky. I mean, you can see him next to the Stealth Singer there, and he just, like, dwarfs it, he's massive. But again, that's really cool how the Skylanders are slightly bigger than the vehicles. Um, but maybe we might be getting something where you, you know you can actually put the Skylander in a vehicle. Maybe they're going to like d double the size or triple the size of these vehicles, and you might be able to actually place one in. Maybe it's a little extra addition. You know, they've done it before with the little wall things that are like parts of Skylands. Maybe they'll do it with the vehicles. Who knows? There's another little view next to Dive Bomber. There, Dive Clops looking awesome. 
Uh, there's Jetstream there, a more HD picture there. Don't really know what part of this is going to move, but my guess it could be the rotors in the blades, or you might be able to roll it across the ground and the wings slightly flap, maybe. I'm not I'm not 100% sure there. Uh, we've got Jetvac there, again, looking so cool. A lot taller than he normally does look, but again, can't wait to see this guy, Hurricane Jetvac, yeah. And then we got this, which is the Chaos Trophy, and... Uh, <laughs> What was kind of confusing me is, why is there a hole in the top? I was thinking, is it an egg cup holder or a, a drink cup holder? And then it just dawned on me that these are trophies, and most trophies are like cups. The, the bits on the side you hold, and then that little bit in the centre, obviously you wouldn't drink out of it, but most people, you know, that's how I sort of think about a trophy, is that it's got a place almost as if you're going to drink out of it. So... If anyone is thirsty during their uh, gameplay sessions of it, but pour a bit of, you know, whatever in, in the top and you have a little bit of a chaos chaos boost there. But uh, obviously that one is from the Dark Starter Pack, but it would be pretty interesting to see this in hand. Um, maybe in some different pictures compared to other sort of uh, figures and everything, because obviously you've got the flags underneath and we can't exactly tell what sort of size they are. But if that is a cup, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be in for buying one of them. Especially to have your tea in it or whatever you want. Um, and then we got this, which is obviously another picture of Stealth Stinger. And you can see here a bit more clearer. It does definitely does look as if those rotors on the top are going to spin around. Um, there's sort of a gap in between the top section and the rotors. Which is going to be pretty cool. You can just like flick them around and uh, make it look as if it's flying. Which is really awesome. And then we got this one, which is Sea Shadow. Um, and I have seen a little bit of gameplay where actually those spikes on the top and on the side actually turn into little green dots and it almost looks a bit like a scorpion but again this does look really awesome it's definitely a different sort of look you know you first think oh it's a helicopter or something like that but this is actually modeled on a stingray which is a pretty interesting concept you know a vehicle modded on a um, modded uh, modeled after a stingray but again it does look like a plane but it is in fact a water vehicle as we know Moving on, we have the shark tank here, and I really like this picture a lot because it shows the detailing so well of the, the different colour gradients, but also the spikes and how they've damaged the front and the side by so so much, you know, um, spinning round. They've got the, the gaps in there, like almost teeth, and then the, the lines in there just add detailing as if it's been scratched up and in, in battle, which is really awesome. Another picture of Stealth Stinger there. There's a group photo of all of them there, a majority of them, and their supercharged co uh, sorry, sorry, their superchargers. Um, but uh, yeah, they really do look awesome. I can't wait to finally stack my shelf up with all of these because they do look colourful. The vehicles are very interactive, which I think is just going to be amazing. Here's another one here, and what I like to do actually with this one is actually get my hot streak, which I've got, um, and compare it to, I know I can't really compare it with a picture, but sort of look at the hot streak and put it on that angle, and think, hold on, Dive Bomber might be the exact same length size, but it looks a little bit taller, if not maybe about another half of hot streak. But it's really cool to be able to actually have one vehicle here and sort of compare all of these to that one vehicle. I know it's a little bit hard for everyone to sort of comprehend that, but I'm trying to give you a sort of uh, look and feel as to what exactly these are going to look and how they're going to be like in big sort of sizing comparisons and everything like that. It's confusing stuff, but it's awesome. Um, so a lot of them there. We already know all of these, so there's nothing there majorly spoiled except for the dark hot streak there which is looking awesome with those blue wheels instead of these red and yellow ones here so they're changing up the different colors and everything to make them more different which is awesome moving on now here we oh uh, here we oh here we go here we oh go um this is smash hit now maybe a p uh, some people might have um already learned about this guy um basically this is going to be apparently another skylander you can see the little one next to it which i'm guessing is his level and obviously it says smash hit there now it's not the best clearest picture but from it i'm going to guess that it's some sort of cat he's got one eye it looks as if the other eye has been damaged or just covered up maybe just because he wants to he looks cool um but i i wonder if this is the earth element um skylander because he's got a sort of um metal helmet on i mean there's no metal element but um metal i'd sort of keep going with earth you know you find metal in earth and it sort of makes sense especially with the name to be smash hit that uh it's gonna be this guy but he does look really awesome but i just really want to see some sort of clear picture of the whole figure and himself in gameplay which would be awesome 
So moving on from that, we have this. Now, this is pretty interesting. You're probably wondering, what the heck is Peñata doing on that vehicle? Well, basically, what basically that is, is it's, it's really awesome because we, we've delved on this, but we haven't officially confirmed it. Not until now. Um, but what basically this is, is it's online racing and online co-op. So... What do I mean by that? Well, it's pretty obvious what I'm meaning by that. Think of Mario Kart and Skylanders. What do you get with that? You get Skylander Karts, or just Skylander Racing if you want. That's the way I want to describe it, because looking at the gameplay um, and the different pictures which have been shown, it's very much like a Mario Kart sort of theme. But the thing is, it's Skylanders up. So you're not just picking Mario and just, that's it. You, you know, you're not just Mario. You get to have this uh, specific car. You get to play as villains. You get to play as not even villains or Skylanders. It could be a completely different person, like a Mabu, um, or at least face them. Now, on the actual uh, co-op racing, the online uh, racing, um, there's going to be eight players available to, like, you know, link up and race each other. Now, it doesn't have to be eight real people. It can be NPCs. So, say, for example, you're on with four other people, it'll be four, and then four NPCs. Um, not 100% sure on how many tracks there are or anything like that, like the different races and everything, but it is pretty interesting to finally know that we're going to have the online stuff. It has been delved upon, but not 100% confirmed. And I think a lot of people, like I said in the beginning, are going to be ticking a box to sort of uh, think, yep, I'm definitely going to get this. Because I know a lot of people have been wondering... Are they ever going to do co op, um, you know, multiplayer? Seen as a lot of games nowadays have got multiplayer already put into them. Um, and looking at some of the gameplay as well, apparently this, t this, t this took them a long, long time to do. They said that they had to rewrite the whole system. I don't know what that means, but it sounds complicated. And seen as it's Vicarious Visions who's developing these, um, a majority of these games. They've had two years since Swap Force to get this done, which is a lot of time. A lot of time, and there's a lot of them. I mean, we, we I've seen multiple of the, uh, what's it called? Um, the different, uh, what are they called? The end, end credits sort of things where it shows all the people responsible for testing and creating everything. And there's just so many people who can help. Um, and it's just amazing. Two years and they've come up with all this. You know, new characters, a new game, new maps, everything like that. Um, but the one thing that I'm happy about is that I get to finally be Peñata in a car, which looks awesome. Um, definitely going to be going in that guy quite a bit because that car looks really, really freaky, but awesome at the same time. Um, he just looks really awesome. I just can't wait to get started on this and finally show it off because it just, it just, it's just amazing. Moving on, here is a sort of local co-op in a way. You can see two people, so my guess is, is that you'll ha you'll be able to go on your own versus people online, but you'll also be able to do a two-player and also go online at the same time, which is going to be pretty awesome because, say, for example, there's, I don't know, four different families or four different health households, two different people per household, you're done. That's it. Um, but it does look awesome, this game. Um... You can see some boosts on the left-hand side, those little yellow rectangular things, and there's also some presents nearby. And then on the right-hand side, you can see a little, like, lantern -y sort of picture there. Um, and basically, those are the different power-ups and attacks which can stop the enemies and pause them and move them and everything sort of like that. Where, uh, you know, you can dis disable their engines or move them back slightly or slow them down and it gives you that advantage. So I, I, I see where the sort of people are getting Mario Kart from because that is very similar to Mario Kart. But it's Skylanded up, which is the best part about it because it just becomes so much more fun and so much more unique. Um, and I have to say, I haven't commented on this, those corner pieces which show the little coins which flip over and show the different characters and the little ammo um, clip belt thing and the the health meter that looks absolutely amazing and it's definitely in in the uh, the supercharged car category because most cars have different um, engine stats and the little dials which go up and down tell you what sort of temp uh, temperature the car is or what gear you should go in or anything like that but it's really really cool to see that and they are awesome they really do look really really, really cool Moving on, we've got this, which has jet, uh, jet vac there in Jetstream, flying along there. But you can see over to the left-hand side, Hoodsicle in his car. So it's not just 
the Doom Raiders who are a part of these races. It's a majority of the villains, actually. Um, anyone remember Mesmeralda from Swap Force? Because she's back. I've seen uh, in trailers and gameplay that her, she sort of pops up very, very quickly. Now, I'll be leaving two trailers, actually, in the uh, the bottom of the video. Uh, the t basically, two different trailers. Um, one of which is an official one, and the other one which I'm guessing is going to be official, but it is pretty awesome because they both have some awesome stuff. Um, I've seen Se Chef Pepperjack. This level in particular, which you can see on this picture, is actually a sort of Chef Pepperjack inspired one, where there's a sort of cut, um, wood cutout sort of of his hand moving with a pepper in it, so it, you've sort of got to avoid that. Um, so moving on from that, we've got a bit of gameplay footage, uh, not footage, like pictures here, of... Uh, dive bomber there sort of attacking those different things um, now talking about the co-op actually because obviously the co-op is a online co-op so it's got the exact same features as a normal co-op but you'll actually be able to uh, drop in and out apparently uh, people are going to be able to drop in and out the person who actually hosts the game I believe I think this would make sense seeing as they have said that it would be the exact same thing as normal co-op where normal co-op is two Skylanders and one vehicle it's the exact same for online so two people can't just have two separate vehicles I think that would be a little bit unfair but you can still have the same thing where one of you drives and one of you fl um, one of you drives and then one of you shoots um, but really awesome seeing this like extra propeller on the end of Dive Bomber is just pretty awesome. Uh, and there's Reef Ripper there upgraded into the, I believe it's the gold state with those three sort of spinny things on the end which does look really awesome. And then we have another picture here which actually shows off some different sorts of uh, <coughs> villains and all that sort of stuff. My chair is being a pain again. Um, but you've got Sea Shadow there obviously in the front. You've got to have something which makes sense. Sea Shadow at the front. You've got some sort of Italian boat there which almost looks like uh, Thrillipede's, uh, <coughs> Thrillipede's sort of uh, vehicle. Um, some hooded thing that almost... Uh, no, that's not. It's a hooded villain. And then something over there which almost looks like Bowser but it's not. It's some sort of bear with a Viking spiky helmet thing on. But really, really cool stuff there. Um, then we've got this one, which is Shark Tank and Terrafin. Terrafin looking almost as if he's struggling to get into the car. Uh, probably because of the, all the armor on him. And then in the background, you can see that sort of green car there, which has what looks like a Mabu with some sort of gas mask on. So you get all these random players and random NPCs, but it also adds to the experience of having more people to sort of damage and take over and all that sort of stuff, which is awesome. There is Stealth Stinger there, almost supercharged up, looking absolutely amazing with those knives coming out, the shooters on the side. Um, the electricity, I don't know if that's part of it or whether it's been shot or disabled by it, but you can see in the background two different villains there, Wolfgang in a flying vehicle there looking really awesome, and Bad Juju, um, which is really cool because I'm probably going to be gonna go in with uh, Bad Juju depending on... Who, who and what is actually going to be in this. I'm hoping that all the villains are actually going to be a part of these races. I think a lot of people would be happy to see that. I was also thinking whether the traps would actually unlock the villains to play in these uh, multiplayer things. Seen as a uh, few updates ago, I mentioned about uh, when you put the traps in, you actually unlock those villains as a Sky Stone. So if you put Chaos in, you get a Chaos Sky Stone and you'd be undefeatable, possibly. Um, I wonder if Skystones will be an online thing. I, w I, I think it might be. Who knows? If they can do game uh, all the racing and everything, Skystones was a pretty simple... I'm going to say simple game, because it kind of was. Especially the one where it was just smashing the tiles together. Maybe an online version of that. Maybe something if maybe two of you win the race at once or something like that. You then have to go to a tiebreaker and win a game of Skystones to be classed as the winner. Who knows? Right, so moving over from all the online stuff, which is the main concern here because it's just been an um, absolutely amazing um, news sort of thing to bring up and discuss, which I'd like to, or you know, be uh, continued in the comments. I know a lot of people enjoy commenting, and I comment back, and it just becomes such a community of different questions and answers, which are 
we we just get we just get so much done. And I you know I thank you for keep making the videos last longer. You know they they don't just be the videos. It's actually the comments and people interacting with each other, which I enjoy. But obviously you can see here this is the trigger happy double dare trigger happy as he is apparently known. This guy looks awesome. He looks almost like a stunt guy who's just been loaded in a can and he's got one of those suits on. That or it's a very much like a bike biker sort of suit. The one thing which is interesting to me are those guns. They look very simplistic, but there's these fiery rings on the end which are intriguing me because I'd like to know what his attacks are. I don't think you could have Trigger Happy without his guns. I think that's that's definitely a no-no. Um, no -no. But they have said that all their attacks are going to be different, so maybe it won't be those same guns. It'll be different ones, um, and they might fire something completely different than coins. It could be, I'd, well, we, we never know. It could be barrels. Who knows? He might have gone to the school of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Who knows? Now, I have to show you this because this is, some of these are now from the official trailer. Again, that is in the, the, uh, the description below. I'll have labelled it and there'll be a link there. Um, now, you might remember this from the picture I showed you of... Jo jo I, I don't know if I'm spelling his, saying his name right. Jos, Josh de, de Ham, de Hamel, de Hamel. Um, get Basically, the guy from Transformers, one of the uh, soldier guys... But uh, he basically was holding up High Vault, as it's being called. This is the the new tech supercharger. This is looking a little bit different, actually, to the game. So I'm uh, the, uh, the the figure version. This is looking more silver than the blue one that we saw. So who knows? Maybe one of them is a prototype, or maybe this isn't the actual version. But it does look awesome, actually. It's got this really cool shield. Uh, he's covered up with what looks like a, a metal bandana, and he's got that staff there in the other hand, flinging that around, but he does look really, really cool. There's also this, which is Big Bubble Pop Fizz, I believe that was his name. Um, he's got that massive... Uh, oh, actually, he's got goggles on his head. I've never noticed that. But he's got that massive trumpet or uh, the trombone on his on his head or coming out of his back, which almost looks as if it's spraying the goo out of that or the, the liquid and the the different potions which he makes. But uh, he looks like he's clearing the little hole there because he's probably blown in it too much and uh, he's filled it up with saliva and spit. <laughs> but um, there we go, there's that one. Um, this is pretty interesting because I believe this actually could be the S Smash It's vehicle. Now, I don't actually know the name of this, um, but I think it might have actually been announced at one point in time. Um, so if anyone wants to comment that down below, be my guest because then I'll bring it up in the next one. But you can see here, Fiesta is riding it, and he's looking a bit a bit freaky there. He's sort of, like, really enjoying the fact that he's upgrading it. Um, but you can see what's what's removed is the front part, which almost looks like some sort of scoop thing. So this looks like a sort of construction vehicle, which would go with the thing of Smash Hit. And then you can see the next part is actually turned to a shovel. So it goes from what looks like a scoop claw thing to a shovel. And it almost looks like a tractor. But this looks really awesome. I mean, if this comes with that cat smash hit thing, really awesome. I cannot wait to see this. It's just going to be so, so cool. Um, there's also this. Uh, this is also in the trailer. I just wanted to show you this. This is obviously uh, Lava Lance Eruptor and the burn cycle. It just says, you know, if, if you're going to supercharge, then you need to get the two of the exact same thing. They look pretty, pretty cool together. Moving on. We've got this, again, packaging for the racing adventure sort of action pack things um, with the trophy for Golden Queen um, looking really cool. So I'm hoping to pick that up. Hopefully this will come out day one because um, they have announced Wave 1, 2 and 3, but I don't know if it's official. So I'm leaving that off for a few uh, few days. I probably might bring that up on the weekend and another uh, news update, so stay tuned for that because you never know what might be announced. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Oh, we got this. Now, basically, uh, I know it's a bit of a blurry picture, but you'll be able to see these different podiums. Now, this is, I think, what, what will actually happen. You've got uh, Stormblade there with the Sky Slicer, but you've also got Thrillipede over there with, I believe it was called Buzzwing, um, ready and waiting to go. But in the back, you've got all these different podiums which actually have all the competitors on there. Now, from what, I, what I've seen and heard, you, uh, Mesmerelda's back, Cluck is back. Uh, now, Cluck was in... What was it called? The Tower of Time from Swap Force. He's apparently back. So they're bringing back these villains which either had little teeny parts or they were barely in it. But the good thing is, is that if I go to this one... Now, I know it's a blurry picture, but I can tell you what it is because obviously the tra you'll see this in the trailer. Put it on HD, you'll know who it is straight away. Now, 
Over to the left hand side you can see what looks like a chompy, who's in there? The chompy mage of course. Behind him you can't see it as well but what will, what will actually appear is Peñota. Over to the right, far right, not the, the bone one, which I don't know who that is actually. Over to the far right at the back, that is actually uh, Dr. Crankcase. So there is a majority of these villains who are coming back. Maybe they've only selected, I don't know, the, um, what would you call it, two from each each different element or something like that. So at least they're not bringing all of them back. But I think they should. I think a lot of people will uh, will enjoy the fact that uh, their favourite villains or their dif different villains have come back and it'll be able to expand the whole, the whole thing of the different um, Skylander collections. But that is it for this update. So yes, fantastic stuff. Um, really, really enjoyed this news update. It's just been so fantastic to get all this information, discuss it in detail, and finally be able to actually say that there is online multiplayer and co-op. Now, obviously, I think uh, I think that opens up a massive sort of uh, um, chance for you know different collaboration videos and um, be able to sort of see and speak to other people. You know. Comments are one thing, but speaking to people about Skylanders actually on Skylanders is going to be another thing because this, the, all these multiplayer things are actually going to have a speaking uh, chat system. And now I don't think it's going to be like push a button and it's going to say hello, how are you? Yes, no, maybe I don't know, something like that. But I would, I, I think from what I've heard is that you're actually going to be able to speak through the mic and actually tell each other, right? You take on that person, I'll take on this person. Put this vehicle on, I'll go as this person, we'll supercharge the vehicle, da 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 da. You'll be able to actually talk, do your strategies and everything like that, which is going to be such an advance and a jump up in what Skylanders has been to now. Because at the moment, I am, I, there is there is a level, and it is like either, it, it's got to have doubled itself from Trap Team. There might not have been that many characters revealed and shown off in this game. That doesn't matter. They have got so many new functions and functionalities and everything like that where you're actually going to be able to race, talk to each other and play the game together and actually exchange different advice, different tips and maybe say to each other, oh, did you get the legendary treasure down here? No, let's go get it. So you're actually going to be able to enjoy it, expand the game, replay it a lot more and hopefully we might even see some updates which will come out um, throughout the game's sort of progress to actually give you a different level, a different track, a different character to unlock or something like that. But it's going to be pretty interesting, I cannot wait. So anyway guys, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below in order to see more updates. Obviously gameplay is still going up at the moment from Trap Team, we're finishing that off. Very enjoyable series I have to say, I won't spoil anything, I have finished it off so all the videos are ready and there to go. Um, I just really enjoyed it so much. It's just an absolutely fantastic thing, and I, I'm I I am personally ready for superchargers now. Um, many people are probably asking where Splatoon. It will be coming up this week. Um, I'm gonna get um, get on with the uh, the filming this Friday, so it'll come back on the weekend. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, if you if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button because you'll be able to access everything else. If you're already a subscriber, you know what to do. You know what to do. Um, you can comment down below, as I've said throughout the video. Give me your own opinions on all of this. Are you excited? Are you going to buy it? Have you not buyed it because of this? Blah, 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 blah. Let me know in the comments below, and we'll have a massive chat about it and open a massive community and everything like that. Also, rate the video if you've enjoyed the update video, and I will see you guys on the next video on the channel. Thank you very much for watching and enjoying this video, because I have indeed enjoyed making it. And I can't wait to hear your comments and write back to you. So there we go, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Thank you and goodbye.